Jeff Allen, Off the Gridiron, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I am in my basement workshop and uh, I had so many comments regarding a prior video of my making of this bushcraft knife that I had to address some of them. Uh, first thing was the logo. This was a logo in progress, looking at... Um, uh, basically, I was trying to create something that captured some of my interests, including the antler for hunting, uh, a fish hook in the middle for fishing and a kind of a, a trigger stick set up for uh, primitive trapping. So that's where that came from. And again, it's the work in progress, but something that I'm just trying to assemble uh, to kind of come up with that uh, kind of uh, logo just, uh, just for myself and my channel. Next thing was the, uh, the making of this uh, bushcraft knife. And uh, it's seen some modifications, including a slimming of the the handle, reprofiling of the blade, and some decorative jimping on the top here. Super, I love this knife. I can't believe I actually made it. Um, I've had a number of comments about it, and uh, it has, it's been really, really good. And uh, I can just keep tweaking it and, and working on some different things, including reprofiling it, taking away the scanty grind uh, as it had, and putting on a bit more of a Kind of, I'll call it a Bark River uh, convex grind, and uh, we can go into more about that in another video. Next thing I had was a quick update on the case. Uh, again, many people uh, thought the case was really ingenious and with leather, and it happened to be at the time one piece, all one piece uh, back, and then uh, all the way up, and folded over on itself and stitched, stitched through. That was really great uh, for a belt carry, but what I found was I really prefer that extra depth that a dangler carry offers. So what I did was I split the case across here, slid this ring on it. This is a solid one piece ring, slid this ring all the way up, riveted through and glued that joint. So it no longer is a belt carry per se. With this extra piece, Okay, made of the same material, same kind of a tooling leather. You have to take little, cut little notches out on top and bottom, and that allows the ring to sit and uh, has a deeper kind of profile and allows the dangler to work effectively. Now with the fold over and snap, that's uh, one of the things that I really prefer because when uh, one has their belt on, it's much easier to slide this up and onto the belt rather than having to take the take your belt off and and uh, so on and so forth so that was the additional mod that i made as the knife is snapped together this really allows it to swing out of the way and a deeper carry kind of cants off to the side really nicely off your leg and allows your jacket and stuff to sit in top here so that's why i made those modifications if you have any questions about those, uh, don't hesitate to ask in, in the comments below, and I'll uh, be sure to get back to your comments right away. Anyways, I just want to share that with you. Again, there's a couple of links up top to some of my other videos. Uh, please check them out and uh, comment. Uh, don't feel, you know, please subscribe. And uh, that's what keeps this, this channel uh, moving forward. There was a bit of a lapse between my last edit because I just did a 14,000 kilometer uh, North American road trip with my family over 50 days. So that was uh, certainly, certainly great. And, uh, but we're back on track with some more videos coming your way. So like, subscribe and share. Get outdoors. Enjoy your outdoors. And until next time, Jeff Allen off the gridiron signing off. Take care.